Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 15th of October 2014. Still British summertime, although it's drizzling. It's about 10 past 6 in the morning, and this is the first of three Hyper Mini Beanos. The hashtag is hashtag, obviously, SBT14, Spoons by Train 14, or 2014 even. Today is Swansea, tomorrow Hereford, Friday Bath. Might squeeze a Saturday in, because the Spoons Beer Festival starts on Friday, and they might even have some available now. Anyway, waiting for a bus, massively early again, and a train to Cardiff and train to Swansea. Chicken day in Spoons today. Mm. Okay, shut up, go get your bus. Note to myself. Dryish in Caerphilly. I'd be going that way. Half an hour. Spoons of the day. Last time I was here, the dirty sauce cup I think was the most daily. There hasn't been one this year, and last year there was one with our Friday edition on Saturday. Anyway, it's Mr. Craft Daily. As we now say, we should say it again. Mm. And Sorry, started you. And uh, can I see my finger? That's the one I'm having. Blue Moon, Blue Moon, real Antipodean ale. I sent out the whole by volume. Half, because there's quite a lot of them. Brewed by a lady who's come to Hook Norton, where they've actually brewed it. 4% out the whole by volume. My nose is not working very well, so. Can't smell the lemony taste. Can't smell the lemony taste. Um, Brazza beer. A little bit acidic. Cuts through the thirst. B e plus. Good start. Number two. And it's number two in the tasting notes. Prophecy by Bath Ales. 3.9%. Um, my nose is rubbish today. It's supposed to be able to smell pine. Can't smell anything. Um, but it is a good pale ale. Nice, strong, bitter finish. Which, as my nose is rubbish, the back of my throat is rubbish, is what I need. Excellent. By the way, the manager here, knowledgeable and helpful. Which is always a good sign. Did I say B plus? <laughs> oh, the memory's gone as well. Tasty notes there. This is number three, although it's number one in the tasty notes. Village Elder by Ian Ramsey. Again from New Zealand, um, but brewed, brewed by Everards? Yes. Um, caramel malt. Taste honey. That just might be my cold, but it's nice. Pale ale. Hmm. <coughs> and the B plus. Number four. It would be a number five, but um, the OG IPA from the states ran out, which is sad. Anyway, a mild. Morehouse's Black Cat Reserve at 4.6%. We should get hints of dark cherry and black currant. Who knows? Mm. Maybe. Mm. I think Big Tony Norton 
no, no one would like that. It's smoky. You can taste fruit in it. But mostly, smoke. B plus. Just remember, I didn't get the cast mark. Cast mark? Gone. Cast mark from the pot as well. So this will be my hand with, this will be my free brewery tour. This is the bank statement in Wind Street in Swansea for lunch. So not only did I forget to um, the cast mark check in in the pot as well, I forgot the carpet and this carpet here. And you come all the way to the bank statement in Swansea and you end up drinking an ale from Caffili. Dark age, 4% alcohol by volume. Dark. Uh, it had a big head. <sighs> a little bit of a burnt um, porter sort of taste. Lots of hops. Gentle but lingering finish. Nice and bitter, nice and hoppy. B++. It's from Caffili, you know.